It is daytime. I walk into my room. The windows are shut. So I switch on the air conditioner. It is just so convenient. Now let us use another approach. I walk into my room. I draw the curtains just a little and then open the window slightly to let a breeze into the room. This also makes me feel comfortable. You may have noticed that I did two different things to obtain the same results. In the first case, I came into my room, doors and windows closed and switched on the air conditioner. In the second case, I opened the window for ventilation to cool my room down. That brings me to the topic of this episode, which is how to use the windows of our house optimally to remain comfortable and to become less dependent on electricity for comfort. Without electricity, we will return to the dark ages, both literally and figuratively. In fact, we can't imagine our lives as we go into the future particularly without electricity. So much is dependent on it. But electricity comes with costs, not only monetary costs, but also environmental and social costs. In fact, much of the electricity that we produce in India, about 70% is made from burning oil or gas and mostly coal. This produces a lot of pollution and greenhouse gases, which are a principal cause of climate change and global warming. So I like to think of this type of electricity as ku urja. Ku meaning bad and urja meaning energy. It's a bad form of energy. On the other hand, you could have su urja, which is good energy. So now the question is, how can we do with less of ku urja, especially as our demands are going to continue to grow in our cities and the explosion of population and our rising standards of living. And how can we instead make better use of Su Urja to remain comfortable? The window is your immediate connection to Su Urja. They need to be of good design and carefully constructed. Therefore, I will talk about two important aspects in this episode. Firstly, how to moderate the sunlight or Surya coming into your room. And secondly, what material or prithvi should one use to construct these windows? When do you want sunshine to come into your room? It's when you're feeling chilly or cold. But if you're feeling warm or hot, you would say a big no to sunshine. But hold on. Even though you don't want the sunshine to come and heat up your room, you might still want some filtered, gentle daylight to come in and illuminate the space that you're living in. And I'll show you how. The clue lies in charting the path of Surya's chariot or following the sun across the sky. Now, if the window of the room is facing east, this is from where the sunshine will enter and heat up the room in the morning hours. Similarly, the window facing west will be troublesome, even more troublesome because the afternoon sun is hotter than the morning sun. But if the window faces south, sunshine will not be as troublesome. The trick is to shade the window from the sun. How you arrange the shading depends on the direction the window faces. The shade that you make will intercept the direct rays of the sun. Here is the most important new vastu about shading windows. Shading windows from the outside of the window. Now anything that stops the sun in its tracks is going to get heated up with the sun's energy. You don't want that energy or that heat to be transmitted again into the window or into the room. So what must happen is that the shading device should be such that it dissipates the heat that it gathers from the sun, loses it in some way or the other without transmitting that heat into the room. So ideally, the shading arrangement should be made of lightweight materials. It should be minimally connected to the wall around the window and should allow the air to move around it so that it loses its heat to the surrounding air quickly. Once the heat is inside the room, it'll take a lot of time to explain it. Therefore, shading devices should be put outside the window, not inside. Curtains and blinds inside the window will not do the trick. 
an adjustable shade is your best bet. It can take care of both east and west directions, depending on whether your window is facing the rising or the setting sun. Therefore, you can bring on the shade whenever the sun is troubling you. In the old days, people were very sensible. Windows used to be made principally out of wood, and when glass became available, they would use a little bit of glass to let in a bit of daylight. Today, I think we need to think again about optimizing the use of glass in our windows. When we increase the glass area of the window, we invite trouble. The bigger the window, the more exposed you are to the blistering heat. The heat outside will transfer through the surface of the window into a cooler room till the inside is as hot as the outside. Therefore, it is imperative to use good insulating material to make your windows. Remember the very important pasta principle? In the summer months, keep the heat out. We'll see how a window compares with a wall in terms of letting the heat into your room. A typical window with a single sheet of glass will let in heat from the hot air outside the window six times faster than a nine inch thick brick wall. And this is without counting the heat from the sunshine falling directly on it. Even putting a dark film does not help much. It cuts the sunlight but has very little effect on the heat coming in. So how do you reduce the heat flowing through the window? Steel or aluminium and has a single thin sheet of glass Heat will flow through the frame and the glass like a river. And the larger the window, the greater this flood. So the first point to remember is don't make the window unnecessarily large. If the window is made of wood or PVC, it will reduce the heat flow across the frame quite a bit. And if instead of a single glass, it has a sealed double glass window pane, then the flood is abated. If you already have a window with only a single glass, there is another solution. Add a second shutter made of white painted plywood. This will also stop the flow of heat. Now, I'm not a big fan of the air conditioner because it guzzles energy. But if you have to use an air conditioner, then there are a few things to do so that it cools your rooms more quickly and more efficiently. New Vastu says, you must first make sure that your windows are well shaded from the sun and that they are made with sealed double glass units and wooden or PVC frames. Before using the air conditioner, stop the heat from flowing in, especially through the windows. You will be rewarded with money saved and earn well-deserved credit in Vastu space. Now I've shown you some simple ways of handling the heat coming in through the window. When you now go to buy or rent a flat, take note of those little details that we discussed in this episode. A big window facing west, especially without any shade on the outside, is not for you. It's fit only for the devil. But there's no denying that there are seasons, there are times, there are places where you do feel the need for the air conditioner. In the next episode, we will look at how we make best use of this gift of modern technology economically and efficiently. Stay comfortable and stay sustainable.